Once we've ascertained that we have an associate, um, so we have an investor or company with significant influence over an investee company, then we've got to figure out where the entries are going to happen. Um, now obviously we don't actually know what the entries are at this point, but we're going to figure that out in a second. But firstly, where do they go? Uh, with a parent subsidiary, it's pretty straightforward. These all happen in the consolidated financial statements. Um, with an associate, it's less clear because you don't necessarily have to have a group. Um, you could have just a single company with separate financial statements and they have significant influence over another company and there doesn't necessarily have to be a group. So it is dependent on whether or not there is a group there or not. Now, if there is a group, then these entries all will happen in the consolidated financial statements. So the equity accounting happens in the consolidated financial statements. If there is not a group, so the investor is not part of a group, then the equity accounting actually happens in the investor's accounts. Uh, so there is no consolidated financial statements. It all happens just in the investor's accounts. Uh, the usual situation that we'll see in this subject, um, and I dare say through most situations that you'll come across, is a situation where the investor is part of a group, so they will happen in the consolidated financial statements.